They're daydreaming. Yeah, so that's why when they have a little pain, stirs up their whole situation. It, yeah. A little pain wakes them up from their dream. Why yeah. Would they want that. That's very painful. Yeah, I, I, okay, makes sense. So they have the upside of the dream and the shared dream, consensus reality. But then they have the downside of having nightmares or having pain or things falling apart faster because that's the shared imagined space. I have nightmares too, but not in stories, more sensations. Mm -hmm. Sensations like, like in The Shining, this, this anticipation, terror, and all that kind of stuff. A lot of anxiety, different forms of anxiety. different forms of anxiety. Yeah, and then visuals. They present as visuals and then my system reacts on it. So sensory feedback or sense uh, fragmented things in your nightmares. Yes, exactly. Fragmented. And the fragmented things from your nightmares are uh, If you were to be curious about your right brain and your unconscious, what, what's the unfinished business or what's the practicing for or what's the prep? Or is there any pattern? Yeah. It's me um, not being able to deliver what I should. So incompetence, uh, powerlessness, that's the main feeling. So if this is uh, a, a memory, a recurring dream mm -hmm. that wants you to, wants to flood you with this feeling of incompetence, so if that's the feeling that wasn't fully felt. Yeah, of course, it's my whole life. Could do, oh, that's your whole life. So if that's your whole life, then if, could you find, could you add to the story or finish the story by saying, this is your whole life. How do you honor that, that grief? How do you see the other side of the grief? How do you see the other side of this preparation that turned into, into your current life? How did you see the other side of it? Of maybe, uh, where's the love underneath that? So you have to complete the circle. Are considering it shadow work where your nightmare is trying to chomp down on an unfinished business. So the unfinished business is, is there's this strong feeling that needs some some other element. Is it grief? Is it someone to witness? Is there some lost love that's invested in something? There's grief for sure. There's a, a kind of longing. Ah, see, a kind of longing in that sort of hit a chord. I, I don't know where I long for. I feel it. Are you sure you don't, you don't know where? What about who, what? 
there's longing. Does the longing have more to say or? Yeah, proximity. Some, someone closer to me. I don't know for sure, someone, something, some energy closer to me. So the longing of some, something, some energy closer to you. Yeah. Is that some energy within your field or is it too far out to, to sense? Yes, it's too far. It's like there's this gap between my energy and I try to reach it somehow. Can't connect. Can't touch. So when you try to reach it by making movements, is your sense of where it is? or your sense of the yearning, does that change? This longing? How does your relationship with this longing change when you reach out? It moves too. Comes closer. Oh, it comes closer. Okay. So, can yeah. you take in the feedback that it comes closer when you reach out? Yeah, the desire, the longing. Increases. It increases. So it's coming closer and you have a desire for longing. I want it to come closer. You want it to come even closer, but can you recognize that it did come closer when you reached out? Yes. When it came closer, or when it's closer, can you describe the energy any any different? Is there any more description or feel you can sense from the energy that came closer that you want to come yes. even closer? It's light energy, and it's light, like, not so heavy. And I feel it in my fingertips, and it moves all the way through my neck, behind my ears. And it makes me feel... It calms out my nervous system. Okay, so you described that it actually goes up your arm and calms down your nervous system. So it seems like it's pretty close. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it seems like if you just reach for it, and you paid attention to it. It was touching you. It was through your fingertips and all the way into your neck. Yeah. Behind your ears. This weird sensation, like I want to pull back now. Haha. I I break that connection. Because the connection scares me some, somehow. So you have mixed feelings for this connection? Yeah. Yes. So one part of you wants it, and it actually did touch you. But then there's another part of it that doesn't want to be consumed by it, or that is yeah, scared that of it. Yeah, that wants more distance. Yeah, wants more distance. See? So how the heck is this energy, light energy, supposed to navigate your mixed feelings? That, that's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's impossible. But when you reached out, it came. And then now you want to pull back, it pulled back. 
Yeah, it just it stays. It's it doesn't move. Yeah. Maybe that light energy, whatever it is, has always been around. Yeah. Find find that out now too. Mm -hmm. So you're developing a relationship with this energy that you thought was too far, that maybe abandoned you, but now you're seeing that it's responsive to you, and maybe you were sending mixed mixed signals. Yeah, I did. Because I'm scared. Ah, see? Because you're scared. Now that you have a better relationship with this energy, this light energy, you're able to express your fear, or you're, you're scared. You're able to put a bit more... You're able to feel the fear more. Yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this trembling energy, like... Being on high alert and trying to escape like a little mouse, you know, just mm. waiting what's coming up and then run, run. That, that's anxiety. That is coming up now. Maybe now it's safer to feel it. Yeah. That's when, when I fall. Now I fall back into my own security. I feel my sitting bones on, on the chair. And I know I can trust my system. I can trust. I'm just sitting down here. I don't need to run. So I can feel sitting bones and then this little mouse energy wanting to run. So see how much space you can hold for the little mouse energy, because that maybe is something that was denied or suppressed in the past. Oh yeah, couldn't be scared. So you couldn't be scared, but now you can be more compassionate to this scared part from the past that's still in your system. It's very young. Around the age that I learned to, to, to run. I don't know age. Mm. I just feel when I could move. Yeah, around one year or so. Anxiety is a weird thing. It goes through my system in flashes. Mm. And one flesh is bigger than the other one. Flashes or waves? Yeah, waves. Waves is better. It's like this trembling and then it goes down again. Trembling goes down again. It's not fire, it's it's more air, trembling energy. This is good for me. My own mm. words. Mm -hmm. You're witnessing it and trying to express it. 
Let's build yeah, my own voice. Mm -hmm. I feel sad and proud at the same time. Mm. Yes, trembling anxiety is losing connection. That's true. Inner connection. Mm. Good question. Thank you. Opens up space for me. So the mouse running away energy, that might be more fear. And then now that you're witnessing it and trying to put words to it. Sadness and pride came into the system too. Yeah. Proud like understanding me. Mm -hmm. Hearing myself. Yeah, hearing myself. I think this fear is trying to show me how to reconnect. Mm, reconnect. My voice and then down and give some, some expression some air yeah air to to mm -hmm. feeling scared yes that would be huge if you could express utterance to this very primitive potentially single digit type fear yeah. And now I feel joy. I want to play. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. That's a surprise, fast bonus. Yeah, I feel, I feel good. I feel relief. Yeah. Like I, I recollected some, some part. I, yeah, I reconnected some things back mm -hmm. in, back in my. I don't have a system rules. body something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is helpful, Deef. I, now the, I, some, I don't know. The light energy that was you wanted to connect to, has that changed? You're wanting yeah, it to wants to play to with me. Oh, it wants to play to. with you. So the relationship between this, this light energy is playful now. Or yeah, that's playfulness. You, not just as playful, you can hear its desires. So it's not just you wanting it to come closer. It has a personality or a <laughs> something. Yeah, it has a personality. Mm. Bad girl personality. <laughs> ah, yeah. that's a bad girl personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Ja. Hm. So let's see. 11.54. When did this start? Longing, 11.38. Less than 20 minutes. Oh, it seems like... Yeah, I've, I've timed distortions. It feels like a whole journey of a day. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of territory. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I don't know who asked the question, but there was this sort of question like losing connection, and I found out it's it's the inner connection. Mm. You know what? My arm is, is having a lot of pain the whole day, and it's gone mm. now. Ah. It's gone now. That, yeah. quest, that question, I felt it... it in my arm. I felt a mm -hmm. whole arm absorbing oh, that, that question. question. I don't know. I have to find out again. I think William asked the question. But the arm that, is it your arm that reached out to the light energy? Yes. So that light energy you said went through your fingertips up your arm to your neck. So the light energy also could have done something. Yeah. It's really strange. Like when I, when I try to take something uh, for two days, I have to be very careful because I, I the, my grip is not good. And now my grip is good again. Ha! Huh. Nice bonus. It's weird. Psychosomatic stuff. Body yeah, I know it's... So, yeah, the body keeps the score, like Robbie said. From the start, I didn't know what the score was. Well, wow, great guys! You really work with the energy and described it, so you might not need to know it more. Not going to wrap my mind around it. Because if we're talking to a preverbal part, that part doesn't communicate verbally so. it's boring yeah it, and it finds it boring yeah so. <laughs> i want to play not to bore mm -hmm. no no let's go on the swings and swing yeah Around yeah much better see Div is, is asking these questions and sort of navigating. So it's like this co-historian where I cannot see yet or explore yet. There's this invitation. I think I never experienced any invitation in my life to hear myself. No. So talking about needing a new experience instead of an explanation. This one counts. So it seems like there's a bit more tenderness or something changed in your system. Yeah. Yeah, tenderness. 
Is there more? How's your heart reacting? It's loving and caring and... Oh, is that new? Yeah. Oh, like, can you enjoy that? I don't know. It's new. It's new? Yeah. Give it, take some time to enjoy it, welcome it, observe it. Hey, Dreamfield? No, no, this is real. It's, it's very similar to the feeling I have towards other people, but never feel it towards me. Mm, yeah, that's a big change now. Yeah, tell me. Mm. I didn't know I didn't feel it towards myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... I have to feel it first to know it. Mm -hmm. It feels like pink. Mm, pink. Pink. Glittery. You know, with, with the sparkles. <laughs> Like oh you know the, the you have this 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 toys when you shake all the snowflakes uh -huh. go. Oh the snow globes. Snow I globes. don't know how you call it, but you know yeah that one that feeling you know when it comes slowly down and as a child I could look at it and and like oof how can this work and how that magic so that, uh, magic yes. This feeling of yeah, it feels magical. But with with very soft Yeah, very soft touch. It's always very... tensed here between mm -hmm. my ribs and and this space here. Oh you can see it? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can see it. Now I, I want to touch it very softly. Mm. And if the snow comes slowly down, it's it just touches so softly. It doesn't disturb anything. It just it's like stroking and calming down and gentle, it's gonna be okay. nourishing. What? It's going to be okay. Holding? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that feeling. But then giving enough space because I don't... My heart doesn't want this. My heart wants... More this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that feeling. Cherished like a like a treasureful baby. Yeah. Yeah, you know when you're holding them yeah. like this, yeah, <laughs> and they snuggle up to you. Oh yeah, yeah. You both know. <laughs> yeah, you both know. <laughs> that. Oddly. Yeah. Um, an amazing feeling. Amazing sensations.
and very new. Yeah. Like, yeah, very first new. First time. That's that could be huge. I don't know how to react on this. I know playfulness, I know scared, I know anger. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know this. Not for me. Mm -hmm. Might need to develop a relationship with this. You might need to learn how to receive. Mm. Yeah, it feels a bit overwhelming at this moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's new, yeah, that sounds reasonable. It would be overwhelming. Yeah. It feels so warm. Mm. My My... Yeah, my blood pressure goes up. In a nice way. Yeah. <laughs> Get the feeling of snuggling to it. Um, snuggling to it. That's... Yeah. Yeah, putting my lips close. Yeah. yeah. Into it. Yeah, so like this. Smelling it. Um, touching it. Yeah, 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 that's touching it with my lips, like they will be most sensitive. And also protecting. I feel protective energy now. Mm -hmm. And a bit of shyness, like, mm -hmm. I want to hide a bit. Ah, want to hide? Okay. Yeah, not so much attention. So if this is coming from your core, this is a, a natural uh, hiding and playing managing <laughs> is it different than the old strategies of hypervigilance and super ego or whatever you were navigating trusting people and not trusting people yes mm -hmm. so you see how this natural protective um, feeling out people is much different than PTSD driven type of defenses. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel nature in here. This is nature. This is mm -hmm. what I'm supposed. This is me. Yeah. It's your uh, God given um, right, God given thing. It's like meant to be like that natural i'm wired for this yeah mm. this is completely my natural structure yeah. finally yeah took a lot of years of course, yes. Mm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I really didn't know. I didn't know how it feels. I...
I need to feel. I need to understand. That's my sensory floor. Mm. Like feeling this, this tender strokes, this cuddling, this. And my tears and the warmth. That's, that's what I need. Otherwise, I don't understand. Thanks, Dee, for showing me. Mm. Seems pretty good. Um, I also want evidence in the future, but... This is potentially very huge. I already sense expectations. Be... Well, that's okay, but your natural system will navigate it. This might be an example of freedom. And that's what I'm pitching here. None of these shortcuts and these gimmicks. This sort of natural freedom that, that is expansive, it's vibrant, it's also tender, but also fierce. It's this sort yeah. of stability. Mm -hmm. All the words are precise. Yeah. It's so tender and strong yeah. at the same time. Fierce and protective at the same time. Alive. Expanding. Mm -hmm. I don't worry about space now. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's huge for you. Yeah. Not having enough space was a big... Yeah, big fight. Oof. My system is, is adapting. It's mm -hmm. um, shifting. It's mm -hmm. not, not like the usual throw-ups, like the usual... This goes very soft into... Hmm, that sense. Hmm, mostly visceral. Aha, uh -huh. visceral. Yeah. yeah, here. What's uh -huh. that here? Bird chakra? Oh, solar plexus? <laughs> Dantian? Hara? Uh, I don't know. The, the powerhouse, the fish, the fish my dear. Mm. Here, just under my breasts, around my stomach, something there. Mm. Under the belly button, by the way. No, above. It's just above it. Just above it. But just under it, it just wants to play. And the shyness, I feel shyness. But this tender shyness, like mm. Mm. unknown territory, like just take a look and then go back and like my son, my youngest son would do. Mm. Take a peek and go back. Yeah, and then go back. <laughs> Be very curious. I want to touch and then go back. And so if I do this, you don't see me. That's that feeling. Yeah.
feel so relieved that it's unstuck. Sure, yeah, it's been a lot of years. Yeah. <laughs> Just I'm 56 few. years old, that's 55 years. Uh, that's an old mouse. <laughs> Fifty-five years, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, you have like a, a boost of new energy. We'll have to integrate, freeing up this stuck energy. I, I want to dance. Mm -hmm. That would be a good thing. Can't we just do that? Put on some good music and yeah, shake baby. it up? Yeah, we'll fish the dancing union. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, heavy metal. <laughs> With his guitars, like no, not line dance. That's too much construction. I would do the opposite then. You need the space in line dancing, so yeah. But, but who knows? In one throw, year, you throw it with with, with Williams cat. <laughs> mm. No, honestly, I, I don't know. I go from being totally excited to shy to careful to very soft to all over the place. Uh, and it feels good. Mm. It feels good. <laughs> Sacred space. Sacred. Mm. Oh, life space. Yeah, red blooded fire. Mm. Oh, that is like a gem, I fuck. <laughs> yeah. I think I've felt them all. Yes, I, I indeed I felt this this love like falling in love. And I felt the playfulness and yeah, attachment. Yeah, everything. Mm. Damn, that's a lot. I feel overwhelmed now. Yeah, sorry. Lack of capacity. Let's take it in. I can take that in. I let it flood me. 
Oceanic Union. Yeah. Just surrender. Mm. Yeah. Surrender agape. Yeah. Intimacy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Get devoured. In okay. this lovely, stylish thing. Mm. 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 And let it carry me. No, not carrying you it, dissolve in it. Uh, um, having enough trust to fall into it and letting it carry you away. Yeah, yeah just dissolve yeah. completely. Mm. Mm. And then you can cuddle and snuggle. Oh, I love that feeling. <laughs> yeah, I do. Mm. So much space in there. So inviting. Trust. And overwhelming and desire and longing and yeah all of it so when you feel that out the uh, uh, map thief just put out there the um, the triangle in a triangle Chantal what mm -hmm. what spaces feel like you you have you have occupied those spaces or uh, you have felt those spaces somewhat and are there some spaces there which which are a um, um, little bit unknown or less less in it it's not unknown it's, it's like my system recalls this yeah. it's it's natural it's mm -hmm. It always is there. It always has been there. I don't know what I did to forget it. It's like this water slides going mm -hmm. through it. Mm -hmm. Like a child goes on these water slides and then they go down and then climb up again and then go down again. And my system is doing this right now, gentle but playful and curious and careful and, yeah, passionate. Yeah. But not like in this explosive passionate, like... Oh, fucking worse. Why do we have so much stupid words for nothing and then the real important stuff we don't have words for? Who came up with that idea? Oh, little words because it's so sacred. In a way, that's that space, that whole ecosystem is like a wonderland. It's, it's um, yeah. Yeah, wonderland and you can go to all these other places, yeah. Yeah, and all these levels. Mm. Yeah, it's it's very precious, mm. this space. Oh, I want to protect this. Talking about time or something. This is worth dying for. Mm. 
I feel so amazed. So. Honored. Can see this. I feel it. I would love to share this, these feelings. Maybe one day I can. There's nothing, there's no better or worse in this. It's equal. Everything is equal. Mm. Everything is equal, and if something is not there, it impacts everything else. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, it's an ecosystem, like you, mm. you described. Mm. It's not whole. You can sli slide down mm. in this water slider. You need water. A lot of water to get there. And a box of tissues as well. Yeah. Yeah, I have two. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. Table yeah. orbit. Hmm. Yeah, you're referring to a place, but this is not a place. This is a space. That's space, something yes. else. So in relation to what William was talking about, roles before. It, so roles is not as an accurate a word, um, but in that way, depending on how it pans out for you, your life, you could stay in certain spaces in this mode and not in other ones. So um, the totality of it um which is required to go beyond it uh, it's compromise yeah grace that's the the correct word Robbie. Grace can get you i through feel grace yeah. yeah you know feel good. you know if this love visual it it was hanging on my wall in my bedroom for almost a year i didn't take it with me here to the house i put it in my where is it here my book where i put in your visuals yeah a year ago so the seed was planted a year ago I try to capture it with visuals and with words oh gosh yes Oh gosh, I intuitively knew back then. My mind is so stupid. Your mind is so stupid? Yeah, I mean, I, I make this. Mm -hmm based on, on what I heard you saying in, in your... It makes total sense now. I didn't make sense then. Yeah, natural exploration. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impatient too. 
I want I want a shortcut. Okay. You got the shortcut. You went back to the original stuck energy. Yeah. You got to the scared baby. Yeah, the one I've been exiling my whole life. The inner slave master using curiosity. Yeah. We can be a curiosity master now. Is it also stubborn? Is that what that is? Yeah, I'm stubborn. Okay, so you integrated this very young part that can link you to your commitment. Can help take over the attention instead of overdoing it. The baby bottle nurturing. Yeah, tenderness is nurturing. Yeah, I, I wrote it in the upper corner. I broke connection. I did. I gave up connection within myself. Mm -hmm. X there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no sad baby. No sad baby, no intimacy. No. It's Ooh. the sadness, it's the, the water that that makes the water slides available. Mm -hmm. Water. Part of oceanic. Yeah. It's a lot of metaphorical speech right now. I don't think I have mm -hmm. other language for it. Also the colors, these are watercolors. It also proves that, that I can mm. trust the process. Oh, that could be huge. You know, when I can make this one year ago, out of pure instinct, that means I, I know inside my yeah. system already knows yes. no so yeah. if i trust but i don't know at that what i don't know here at that moment mm -hmm. the trust what's going on here yeah it will come up anyway mm -hmm. much more efficient yeah the hell yes what am i talking about efficiency ah. that wasn't efficiency what i was trying to do that was control mm -hmm. um, yeah safety control safety hmm. i would call it predictability but maybe that's the same. It's fake. Mm -hmm. Fake. Well, yeah. I was lying to myself. Yeah. That's what a lot of codependents like to do. Yeah. It's frustrating. Yeah. The art of gaslighting myself. Fix <laughs> <Big> Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Early pointer. 
I will perfect the yeah. art of gaslighting me. Gaslighting me. I will perfect the yeah. art of gaslighting me. Gaslighting me. I I'm noticing oh, today. A less energy <laughs> from back then. That was, that was a bit more possessed. <laughs> uh, I'm noticing even when I'm saying me, there's this excitement in it. Yeah, that excitement, <laughs> that possession, that drive back then. The entities, <laughs> the yummy entities. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, in this one today, Chantel, feeling it out as a wonderland, a playground, where where would you where does it feel that you spend the time today in that that one that you've just got on the diffs uh, in the diff screen that you drew up <laughs> tenderness space? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's funny. I I really little see your words trying to capture. Me too. But it's it's not there to capture. It's to hold. To hold. Hold. Uh, I would say it is. It is to capture and then let go, and that is holding. But it, it, it has to go through that space. No, you're scared. Mm -hmm. And that's reasonable. That was Chantal's doorway to go through her terror. It was scary. Yeah, it's scary. And I think that's what I try to do with control was to grasp, to do this, while the real movement is to do this. Like when you can receive and give back, because if you give like this, people can take what they need, and you can receive and then let go, like you say, between my fingers, what I don't need, and just let it flow. But it's a natural give and take. It's because in this space, in this tender space, it's not transactional. It's playing. Yeah. Going down the water slides, who cares about transaction? I don't. That's yeah. where fun is. Yeah. You know, the real laughter Bobby just showed. Like this full blown, unapologetic, that was taking special. up space. Yeah. Explosion, passion, air. Do you read the title? Absence? And deep demanding love and anxiety is key. Mm -hmm. One year ago, we already got the magic key. I would never make the connection with this chart. Mm 